An electric send-off for a squad on its way to dance. Just so hyped because I've been following, you know, the uh, Duquesne basketball team all this time ever since I got here. And now that we're doing all this, I'm just ready to see us just play our hearts out. From the garage above down to the bus doors, the Duquesne community wanted to show out for its team. One lucky fan snagging an autograph on their jersey. <laughs> Others taking photos with the A-10 championship trophy and President Ken Gormley. And we're feeling the love from all over the country. I mean, literally, I'm hearing from people all over the United States. It's just a beautiful moment. I honestly cannot believe it. This team has worked really hard to get with the place that they are today, so I'm really proud of them. The Dukes have a date with BYU in the first round of the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Their first taste of this major stage in nearly five decades. A fact that's not lost on students here. So I feel like a lot of people don't know us, so kind of putting ourselves more on the map is, is just great for Duquesne as a whole. You guys are front and center in Pittsburgh right now. Yes, we are. <laughs> and as the team hits the road, we caught up with head coach Keith Dambrot. We're excited about it, you know. You know, feel like if we play good basketball, it'll be a good, good challenge for us, but I think we can come out on top. And the university president says he also got some nice messages from uh, leaders at Pitt and CMU. Certainly feeling the passion from neighbors here in Pittsburgh. Reporting live tonight, Tom Garris, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.